for tonight. Clear to partly cloudy, low 55. Winds north-northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. For Friday, a few clouds from time to time, high 77. Winds north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And Friday night, generally clear skies with a few passing clouds, low 52. Winds light and variable. Our seven day outlook. clock in the east and we are one hour away from the brand new advisory on the first Atlantic hurricane of the season. Danny reached hurricane status just hours ago as it churns in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. It's still headed west towards the islands, but still a lot of uncertainty remains. Just ahead, we will explore everything in Danny's way. Will it be enough to slow the storm's development? Also this afternoon, we're tracking a strong storm and flood risk from the northeast to the southeast to Texas. Heavy downpours are causing even more flooding in places that can't handle it. We'll get your latest storm tracks and timing into tonight. And new data shows a tropical system taking aim at Hawaii. So we've got a lot to cover this afternoon here on Weather Center Live. Thanks, Al. And here it is, the very first hurricane in the Atlantic this year. It's Hurricane Danny, as seen from the International Space Station earlier today. Now, the storm strengthened since we last talked and officially became a hurricane at 11 o'clock this morning. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dave Schwartz here with Alex Wilson. And it looks like things are finally picking up in the Atlantic. When it comes to Hurricane Danny, we have in-depth coverage you will not see anywhere else. So much more than just a satellite and a forecast cone. So get used to it because we have a lot to offer. We do. You know, every 15 minutes we're diving into the science, the scenarios, and the potential roadblocks in Danny's way. And we're awaiting the new advisory from the National Hurricane Center in less than one hour. There are a lot of questions still up in the air. And here, help us break it all down is our senior hurricane specialist, Brian Norcross. He joins us from the lab. And Brian, you know, a lot of people tuning in. Is Danny still going to be a hurricane tomorrow and this weekend? Well, it's going to be a close call because it's a very small system out there in generally unfavorable atmospheric uh, uh, dynamics. If you look at the overall atmosphere, it's got some things going for it, but it's really going to have to thread a needle to continue as a hurricane for too terribly much longer. But it's a, certainly an interesting system and there are other systems behind it. So let's get to Danny first because it's the new one today. And when you look at this visible satellite picture, you go, wow, that is an impressive looking storm. You see the clouds all the way around the center there and you uh, you can see that the air is flowing out of it all signs that that we would have an impressive storm but when you actually look at it in the overall kind of macro view of the Atlantic it's a little tiny speck out there and when you have little tiny storms they can be affected by the atmosphere around them so much more because they don't control much of the atmosphere so that's why Danny is going to have a hard time so here are the latest numbers from the Hurricane Center, as you say, a new advisory coming up here this hour. 75 mile an hour winds, pressure estimated at 992. Now remember, hurricane hunters have not gone out there to measure it. So this is all estimated uh, by the satellite and we'll get new estimates with the new advisory. Hurricane hunters going out tomorrow to get their first look. At least that's the schedule right now. It's just over a thousand miles to the east of the Windward Islands, but it's going to move a little north, so more up toward the Leeward Islands, the northern part of the Caribbean Islands. Here on the uh, water vapor where we can see the middle and upper levels of the atmosphere, we see that band of dry air just to the north. And the question is, is some of that dry air rotating around there? And it might be when we really look close up here, we can see that the center is really not in the center anymore. You see it right there. You see the bottom part is kind of eroded here. So that's an indication that there's something going on. It may be that we're starting to get some unfavorable winds in the atmosphere kind of tilting the system some again we don't have any uh, direct evidence of that we'll get that when they go out and actually measure the atmosphere tomorrow so here is the uh, latest forecast from the hurricane center or this is the latest model forecast and you see how, in what kind of agreement the models are uh, ignore that one up there these are the main ones and the uh, 
they all go in the same direction, so we have high confidence that that's the way the center of it's going to go. So here is the forecast from the Hurricane Center. You see they uh, continue to increase it a little bit as of this morning's forecast. We'll see about the update, but generally keep it a hurricane for a while and then start weakening it over here. The thing is that when we look at the upper level winds and we have new models that have come in since that National Hurricane Center forecast, look at all, first of all, the GFS, you see the unfair favorable upper level winds they are right at the end of the cone so if the system is there or there it's generally getting unfavorable winds by that time but look on the euro the euro has the unfavorable winds way out here so the euro wants to weaken it uh, much earlier in this process so we'll get that new analysis here in the new forecast coming up all right back with lots more in just a few minutes thank you brian well, the big story on land is the risk of storms and flooding. Here we are in Philadelphia. You've got some rain going on right now. It's headed toward New York City tonight, a wet night ahead. And D.C. is going to have some showers this evening. And then that should be it. Warm and humid air is going to leave us. Right now, though, it is sticky outside. Let's take a look in here. We have some uh, flood watches for parts of eastern Pennsylvania, western New Jersey, Maryland, and the D.C. metropolitan area into northern Virginia. And also up here, we just have a lot of rain. High pressures 